Okay, what you're looking at here is the IntelliBind IB400 combining machine from IntelliZone. And a question that we get asked a lot here is, how do you use a combining machine? And I can understand uh, a lot of the documentation that comes with them is pretty sad, uh, difficult, difficult to follow, and understandably, everybody loses a manual or perhaps isn't able to quite follow through on exactly what the manual is trying to get across. Um, the good news is, is that combining machines are all very similar in the way they operate. Now, in this case, I'm using an IntelliBind, but uh, these instructions should be able to help you if you have a GBC machine, a Tamerica, Achilles, CircleBind, basically pretty, pretty much any combining machine out there. Uh, the, the process is very simple. They all have a catch tray where the punch paper goes. They all have a punching die. If it's manual, there's a handle that you pull down to punch the paper. Um, and depending on the machine, there's also going to be one that opens the combs up and closes them. Uh, this particular one has disengaging dies, sometimes referred to as selectable punching pins. Uh, not all combining machines are going to have that. If you're just punching 8.5 by 11 paper, not necessarily a must-have feature. I personally like it if you're punching larger or smaller sheets of paper. Um, and in the case of this machine, it has an adjustable margin depth. Um, that basically just determines how far into the paper the holes punch. Generally, if you're binding a thicker book, you're going to want the holes to be punched in a little bit more. Thinner book, they can be a little bit closer to the edge. And that's really all, all there is to a comb binding machine. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to punch your paper and your back sheet and cover sheet. In this case, we're using a clear cover and a cardstock back. Um, I'm just going to be punching some paper here. In this case, I'm not binding a really thick book, but uh, if it's an electric machine, there's probably a button you push to punch the paper. Um, I'd say 70 to 80% of the machines out there are manual. In this case, I'm using a manual machine. Um, this is a 19 ring plastic comb binding machine, which means along the 11 inch side of a sheet of paper, there are going to be 19 holes, which actually coincides with a 19 ring comb binding supply. So I'm going to punch a few more sheets. You just basically uh, repeat the process until you punch all the paper. Uh, the amount that you can punch really just depends on the machine. Uh, some can punch uh, 10 to 12 sheets, others can, punch, others can punch up to 20 sheets at a time. And if you're punching cardstock or a clear cover or other poly cover or another type of binding cover, you won't be able to punch as many at a time but most machines can still handle them. In this case, I just like to do one at a time just in case there are any issues with the thickness of the cardstock or the clear cover. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the comb on the machine. Um, some machines have two handles, one for the punching, one for opening the combs. In this case, this machine actually pulls down a punch, pushes back to open the combs. So I'm going to put the comb on here. Very easy to do, you just slide it down the fingers here, push it up, opens up the, opens up the comb fingers for you. I like to put the back sheet on. The back, basically just to line it up the way that you would normally bind a book. So I've got a clear cover on the front, car stuck on the back. I'm just going to slip it through the 19 fingers here. It's actually really easy to do. And then once you have the combs slipped through the punched holes, just close it back. And you've got yourself a comb bound document. One thing I really like about comb binding is that the elements are inexpensive. They're pretty much indestructible, available in a wide range of colors and sizes. And you can use this for format for binding reports, presentations, booklets, uh, cookbooks, you name it. Really easy to do with comb. So there you have it. Just a few easy steps. Uh, punch a few sheets of paper, open the combs, a few adjustments on the machine, and you've bound a book.